Hey guys, this is Ryan with How To's and Reviews. Today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for taking screenshots with the built-in software in your Mac. Now whether you're using the latest Mac OS Sierra or one of the older versions, this is going to work for you. No additional software necessary. Alright, let's get started. First I'm going to show you two methods of taking screenshots and then we're going to show you some additional really neat tricks that you can do to enhance these. First off, if you want a screenshot of the entire screen, what you're going to do is you're simply going to press Command, Shift, and then while holding those down, press the number 3. Command, Shift, and 3. And what this is going to do is it's going to take a screenshot at the identical resolution so your screen resolution is set at. So over here, we have the file that we just took. If I were to click Get Info, we see that here I have a 5K screenshot at 21.7 megabytes. So it's a very high resolution screenshot. And we can also take a look at that by pressing the space bar. And there we go. There is our screenshot. Now, what if we wanted to take a screenshot of just a portion of the screen? We can do that too. For example, what we'll do this time is we're going to hit Command, hold down Shift, and press the number 4. And what we're going to see here on the screen is we're going to see a sort of a, a bullseye, as you can see me moving right around here. Now, typically what you'll do is you'll select an area, selecting from the left, and then you'll drag down and to the right to cover the area that you want to include in that screenshot. And so this is going to give you kind of a focused screenshot on just the area you want to select. Okay, so we're going to take a look right over here, and that's exactly what we have right here. However, there is more that you can do with this. So this time we're going to hit Command Shift 4. We're going to get the same bullseye come right up, but instead we wanted to select this whole window this whole Safari window here in front of us. So now we're currently not holding any buttons. We've gone ahead and, and brought that up, the bullseye, and now we're going to press just simply tap the space bar. And this is going to change that bullseye to a camera icon. And then we can mouse over any window that's open. And we can press, just tap with one left click. And there we go. We have a screenshot of the entire window with no no manual measuring necessary. Now you can do the same thing with a menu. So let's say for example you wanted a picture of a menu. You're gonna hit the same one command shift and 4. We get the bullseye, we press spacebar once and there we get the camera and we can click tap the left click and there we now have our uh, menu as a screenshot. Let's pull that up right there. So that's pretty awesome. Now we can even make this better. So for example, if we, um, well, let's, let's do a few more things here. Let's go ahead and do Command Shift 4. Okay, we've got our bullseye. We can move that around freely, but once we start, let's say we started here and we started dragging this to where we want it. Well, Generally speaking, if you realize, oh, you know what, I really should have started farther to the left to get this whole window, what you would typically do is just press escape, and that's going to start you over again. However, there is a way that you can adjust that once you've begun without having to escape and start all over again. And so we can press Command Shift 4. We've got our bullseye here. We're going to start in a similar way, and then if we want to move this, we're going to actually tap and hold the space bar and it will let us move our whole, our whole uh, selected square over anywhere we want to. Then we can let go of the space bar and we can resume our dragging to select the area we want to capture. Once we let go again, it's going to make that picture for us and here we have that here. All right, so what else can we do? Well, there's actually even more that we can do here. 
we're going to start off again with the command shift and the number four and uh, let's see let's um, let's begin to drag okay but maybe now what we'll do is let's tap and hold the shift key while we're dragging okay and then what this is going to do is it's going to allow the expansion of our selection to only occur in one direction so at the present time I cannot go vertically I can only scroll horizontally now I'm gonna let go of the shift and that's gonna free this up and now again I can move out any way I please let's start again and I'll explain a little further okay so command shift and four we've got our bullseye we're starting to stretch it out over the area we want to go in okay I'm gonna now press shift and hold and whatever direction you go in first for example if I begin to scroll vertically it will only allow me to then it will limit me to vertical movement if I let go and I press the shift key again but this time I set off in a horizontal movement it will only allow horizontal movement and not vertical movement so if you need some precision and you need to kind of uh, not let things just just go all over and you want to um, scroll only in a horizontal or a vertical fashion then holding the shift key will do that for you alright so there is another way we can do this as well we can do command shift 4 get our bullseye here and we can uh, begin to select and then we can hold the option key and what this is going to do is it's going to expand both to the left the right the vertical all at the same time and so it's kind of a uh, a really neat feature as soon as you let go of the option key you're back to the original functionality so let's uh, let's apply some of these things that we've been learning here we are in the middle of this picture we want to move this obviously I can hit escape if I want to start all over again and not create a photo of this otherwise I can press and hold down the spacebar relocate the edge of where I want this to begin let go of the spacebar and then I can manually drag once you let go of course it's gonna take the picture I'm gonna try again command shift 4 just practicing some of the techniques that we uh, reviewed together and let's say I'm gonna to start to drag okay but I want to maybe um, expand only in one direction as you can see here I'm expanding vertically and horizontally so I'm gonna only want to expand uh, horizontally so I'm gonna hold the shift key and now I can only expand horizontally in one way or the other I'm gonna let go of the shift key I'm gonna press the shift key once more and now whoop, let's try that again now I can only go vertically up or down while I hold the shift key I'm gonna let go of the shift key I'm gonna instead press the option key and now we see this this expansion in all four directions okay at least within the confines of the screen so pretty neat what you can do okay and then once again I'm going to um, I'm gonna escape out of that and just we're gonna do command shift 4 and press the space bar just once and I can take a screenshot of an entire window hey guys I really hope that these tips and tricks are helpful to you and as always I'd encourage you to subscribe for more tips and tricks for Mac hope you guys have a wonderful day